Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play We Happy Few. I'm here with Spring at Dawn, and we're on our way to the general safe house. I've already uh, stopped by Gwen and changed her nappy, so now we're going to go back. I feel like I'm Let's Playing a Let's Play House thing if I start with that sentence. But anyway, uh, we're going towards the, uh, the safe house, or the unsafe house, according to the quest title. Not run past her. She has a dig spot beside her. Probably not worth it. You are not authorized. Please clear the area immediately. Probably has like an axe and a brick or something in it. It's usually not worth. Oh, it's this area. That's the old pumping station where I threw him the masquerade ball. Why don't I just sneak in and abscond with the key? Why not? Can I get up here as well? Alright, well. Pretty straightforward platformer. <laughs> so it tells me he's been waiting inside. That should have been a secret agent. I might have to fight him. He'll have the boat key in his office. I'm sure of it. It's a bucket of rats. Christ almighty. He's set for the apocalypse, isn't he? Trap. Alright, which way do I want to do this? I guess it doesn't matter. They both go around to the other side. Oh god, it's gonna get me again. He got me again. Of course, I'm stuck in the corner. Oh boy, where do I go? Oh, over here probably. Nope. Nope, oh, stood up a little too soon. Sat down a little too soon. Um. It probably just run the way through, right? <laughs> Alright. I might end up forgetting that, but there we go. I'm, uh... <laughs> On the way. Well, shoot. Where's the power at? Um... Alright. Oh, there we go. That was... Not looking around. My bad. Sorry if y'all are frustrated by my lack of grace. Sometimes it. Whoa! The simple solution is the best solution. Let's, not, let's grab some more of these while I'm thinking about it before I get into a fight that I can't handle. I'm gonna get up to 25 and then I'll, then I'll call it. Ooh, there we go. Ha! Alright, quick candor. Oh, there we go. Or not. Some advantages to being smaller than everyone else. Take it down on the other side. I thought this drop is still gonna hurt me. Uh, maybe not. Oh, that's not good. something. Finally. Oh, it looks like all these lasers are about to turn on. Memoir of Saint or Sir Robert Bing. Hello. Duty above all, the memoirs of General Bing, Chapter 1. Duty will never make one popular. It is its own reward. I first learned this lesson in grammar school, when I reported some older boys smoking in the lavatory. The haunts of Tattletale that followed this incident did not in any way dissuade me, nor did the monstrous rumor that I had only reported the boys because I owed them pocket money. Even at a young age, I had a keen sense of right and wrong. 
When these boys later threatened to do me bodily harm, it was my obligation to inform the headmaster and ensure they were expelled. Naturally, this did not make me popular, but I endured the jeers as one does when one has a higher sense of moral purpose than one's peers. He sounds like a real tattletale. You know what they say, snitches get stitches. No, I'm just messing. I mean, it depends on the severity. I don't know. You can turn a blind eye on some things. Look at this. He looks like a super villain. Let's feel powerful for a second. There we go. And this is what it's like to be king. Or at least general. Fuck in a bucket. No. Uh, no. No. Uh. When I told you to come to my safe house, I meant knock on the door. Not come down the chimney. Did you forget something? Gwen safe. Oh, yes, I'm sure you're taking smashing good care of her. What if one of Dr. Verloc's boys comes knocking while you're out? We'll move house. And when they catch you out on the street? What happens to her then? Come, look. It looks empty from the outside. No sense painting a target on the place. Food for a year? Vitamins, first aid? How lovely for you. You'll stay here after I get Gwen across the bridge. It's the only place I can keep you safe. I wanted it to feel like home. I think I'll keep looking. Go. The doctors are scouring the streets. This is a cage. Not once you tell me where she is. I'm not going to do that. I think you will. Baby's going to get hungry if you're not there to feed her. You bastard! You are horrible, vicious coward! Sally, Traitor. do you love her or do you just love having someone who needs you? Just stay with us. Here. Please. This is no place for a child. She's just a small thing. I'll make you happy. I promise. You'll come first. I can make you so happy. You're just like when we first met. How <laughs> dare you? I had a feeling. I think I've just pissed him off. I've got to get out of here. Like. Sally! Oh, Sally! You won't be leaving this facility without me. I have the only key card. I've got to take him down somehow. This is a really nice lab. Maybe I can use his own magic against him. Somehow. Yeah, I can sure. make morpholine. If I throw it in that fountain, it'll steam off morphine gas. And down he goes. Well, let's start grabbing stuff. I mean, no, I'm just grabbing a cleaver, man. I'll be out there in a minute. I like you, Sally. Why do you have to be so damn difficult? Who else is going to give you what I can? Well, I really want to know what he did during the war. She called him a traitor there and a coward. Morpholine. What else do I need? I need the... Alright. Is it right here? No. There it is. Now I'll just have to turn on the fountain. He's just running. Oh, shoot. Where's the 
power at? Oh, he took my power cells, that's right. Son of a gun. Play, I'm playing Vermintide. Block, shove, swing, swing. Block, shove, swing, swing, swing. I mean, it's a little bit faster in Vermintide. Some Vermintide action right here. Nothing. To your boat too, so he's got all my stuff in his office. I'd better get it back. Oh, which one's it? Oh, his office is this way. Or that's the way out. His office is over here. Alright, let's take off this gas mask. No need to listen into that right now. And. I uh, took the monster out of the bag. Well, that was one of my most spectacular breakups. My god, I thought there was no one worse than Anton. They, re they really mean it when they call us birds. He wanted me in a gosh darn cage. And Gwen. Oh god, I'd have lost her. I've never understood people who keep birds in cages. Birds are meant to fly for frick's sake. How do you love a creature and put it in a cage? Anton thought I was his bird, but there wasn't a cage at least. I suppose because he was always a little afraid of me. He wasn't a good enough chemist to tell if I gave him the wrong formula. And everyone would have blamed him, like they do now, and I never even sabotaged him. Uh, what's wrong with men? They get for weeks seemingly entirely like human beings. Then the monster comes out of the bag. There's no reason with it. You aren't even speaking the same language. And you say to yourself, Alright, yes, well, sure, the monster does come out now and... Then, but if I say exactly the right thing, I can get it back to go to or get it to go back to sleep, or at least it only spilled a little blood. It didn't actually tear off an arm or or something. And it says sorry for biting so hard, and it has pretty such pretty blue eyes. The only one who never did that was Arthur. I gotta stop thinking about him. Frickety frickety, I'll never see him again. Frick. Uh, well, Robert's got a year's worth of supplies and a bloody fountain to drink from. He's lucky I didn't bloody slit his throat. He was right. I've never been this alone. I mean, I always have, but I never have. Amazing what you can do when it's the end of the world. Oh. You'll come to your senses. The heck shattered. I've done terrible things, Sally. I had to do them, but the mob despised me for it. I think I deserve a little consolation in my old age. I'm not your consolation prize. Is he locked in there? How long was I in there? I've got to get back to Gwen. Yeah, um, you never have to do awful things. You may think you have to. I mean, there are tough decisions you have to make, but if it again jeopardizes an entire civilization like his did, I think. I'm assuming that he made the decision to get rid of the kids. That's like a... Some sort of weird treaty or bargaining tool. I wonder what he planned on doing with Gwen. If he meant to, like, send her to Germany as well? Like, I don't know. I may have missed something. Maybe Germany isn't actually where they were sent. Maybe it was just a uh, code word for killing them all. I mean, I, I really don't know. I don't know if there's like a, a, Are you a right? hint or something for it. And I'm just missing it. Lovely. 
lovely day for it. Lovely day for it. The neighbors think you've got a downer in your house. <laughs> Not me. If I were any happier, I couldn't walk in these heels. <laughs> That's a joke. They heard someone crying. Love to chat, but I'm expecting Sir Robert any moment. Then you shouldn't have provoked Dr. V like that. After he tried so hard to put you out of his mind. Look, you tell Anton that the general is going to be really fucking pissed off. I don't think he much cares anymore what mood Sir Robert is in. Personally, I'd like to see your customer list. Odd. Something I've not smelled since... That's a baby. Yes. Isn't she adorable? Fuckity fucking a buckety bucket. Okay, think, Sally. If he doesn't come back, they'll send more doctors. We can't stay here anymore, can we? I can't just carry Gwen across town in my arms. Do I still need to wait two days or try a new thing? An unwelcome guest. I know, I know, I know. But what else could I have done? Why can't she stay quiet even just a little? But we knew this day would come, didn't we? Just wish it was later. Should have done it sooner. It's hard to give up a comfy house. Where are we going to go? How am I going to get her there? I have to wait two days. And I can't stuff her in a suitcase either. Well, we'll start with 24 hours. I'll need to get Lionel to make me a special carry cot where she can breathe, but no one hears her fussing. Alright, let's go back to Lionel. Let's go this way. Just to avoid the hassle of having to run from the police. Might this episode run over a little bit, because it seems like it might be the last episode in Sally's story. So if we can wrap that up, all the better. You can take your joy in Because between you and me, I'm really looking forward to the final story. I don't know anything about it other than you get to play as Ollie. He seems like a fun guy. And not like a mushroom. How can I help you? Sorry, mustache. Have you got my chemical bag? Yeah! Yes! Yes, I have! Let's spend my money, shall we? I have 73. That's, that's only 25. I hope. There you go! Careful with your, uh, chemicals. What? That you're carrying. In the back. Yes, of course. I'll be super careful. A little curtsy? Thank you. Alright, let's save Gwen. Get out of it. And blow this popsicle stand. There we go. So we're gonna say, no, nope, not that way. Let's go this way. You can take your joy in me. Yeah, and had buy like half the stuff you could buy for uh, Sally in this in this uh, story. She has all those outfits and stuff you can buy. And the Reform Club is mentioned a few times, but you never went to the Reform Club. You didn't say that, my Yeah, yeah, everything's. Great. Must be nighttime. All right. Well, let's go ahead and feed her because I'm sure we'll have to do that as well. Uh, can I actually make it in the inventory? Do that, then we'll wait till nighttime. 
I better not try to move her. That way she's all good for the room. Her eyes look a little glazed over. All right, fine, we'll change your nappy as well. On with the dry, off with the wet. A clean nappy is baby's favorite thing to get. All right, I'm not feeding her again. You and Gwen can finally escape to the mainland. Are you ready? Once you pick her up, you're done. If any other adventures are well to Wells, and until you get her to the boathouse, you won't even be able to fight or even throw things. Well, that's inconvenient. It's gonna be dark in here, darling. But when you come out, you'll be as safe as you can be. You're going to be as quiet as a mouse, aren't you? Because you don't want Mummy and you to be torn to tiny little pieces. Just go to sleep for a little while. Alright? Now all we have to do is travel safely across the entire city and not upset any doctors or any townsfolk carrying torches or pitchforks or plague victims. Oh, the stories you'll have when you grow up. Alright, well this is the final stretch. Let's say it's still run. Give the kid baby shaken syndrome. Or shaken baby syndrome. A lot of skill points that I can't use. Hope skip and a jump. Alright, it's an easy stroll across town, right? Right, baby? Alright, so how do I want to do this? Where do I have to go? Oh, I just need to get to the hatch. Easy peasy. more road and then a then a right in this case. I'm gonna go this way. Hold your breath, baby. Oh, that's right, all those darn plague victim soldiers are over there. That's gonna be annoying. Where shall we wander today? Oh, is that called Raven's Home? Because we don't go to Raven's Home anymore. Happy little reference to uh, Just like a pretty Beth. good gaming you franchise. I was gonna let me use the ladder there. I'm like, here, let me get all the way here, and then now I'm gonna use the ladder. It's so upsetting. Oh, wait, I don't know. Might have to make a run for it, but oh, there should be enough shrubbery for me to sneak past all these guys. Our sunflowers. there. A 75 meter sprint. A 
That's nothing. That was not difficult at all. Well, I mean, we're not done yet. I assume that Colonel or Corporal still down here. Well, I'll see him. No one's much here. Nicer. Thank God. Let's get out of here, shall we, Gwen? Shh. It's almost over. Let's just lower wow. this into the water. Is that up here? I thought it should be up there. Nope, it's right here. I hope this thing works right and the baby doesn't just like it. Thrown into the water. Leave Wellington Wells. Alright. anymore, will they? Make as much noise as you like. Maybe I'm not such a rubbish mum after all. You'll never know how alone someone can be. You have me. I'll have you. I'm happy, would you? We're gonna have such adventures. We'll be the two musketeers. Never explain why she was wearing a hard hat. I know it's not really a hard hat. It might be. I don't know. It looks like a hard hat. All right, and um, Act Three, Ollie. I will probably watch the beginning cutscene, and then I'll call it an episode as soon as I can save and exit, and then um, uh, we'll start Ollie's adventure in the next episode. Yeah, after this one. Well, actually, now we're gonna call it here, and in the next episode, we'll uh, we'll continue or start Ollie's adventure. Thanks for watching, and I hope to catch y'all in the next one.